flags up and they're racing. Untidy beginning from the 1600 metre marker. Gypsy Magic, one of the first to respond. Cops are Macy, the black cap's going to move around. Everglows towards the inside. Benatia is right there, only a neck separating the first trio. Fly Me Free, the favourite, has the white blinkers on as a round runners. Rain Wear towards the inside. Emerald Isla has got about six lengths to hunt down as they go past the 1200 region. Horoscopes on the outside. Ella Vera is dropping out of it and Pat Pong is the trailer. Carps and Macy won the battle for the lead. Everglows at the rail in second. Benatia's around runners. Laurel Lane gets a length closer. Then we have Gypsy Magic coming to the 650 metre marker. The favourite fly me freeze on the outside. The white headgear. Rain wears five lengths off them. Horoscope's a little bit awkward for a stride or two. Emerald Isle seven, eight to make up. 500 metres to go and Carps and Macy a length and a quarter. Everglow. Laurel Lane comes towards the outside. Fly Me Free is going to go through between runners a length and a half to make up. At the 350 metre marker. Fly Me Free is down the middle. Gypsy Magic. Laurel Lane's on the outside. Emerald Isle is trying to get into the action with Rainwear. Inside the 150. Fly Me Free. Gypsy Magic's on the inside. Emerald Isle. Gypsy Magic on the inside. Side, fly me free horoscopes coming home strongly on the outside and horoscope wheel them down rain wear emerald dialer fly me free and gypsy magic Well, number 11, Horoscope, really gets into action over the last 100 metres to win going away. Rainwear's on the inside, Emerald Isla in its photos. Fly Me Free, probably just ahead of Gypsy Magic, and then came Laurel Lane. Horoscope seemed to be a little bit awkward around the turn for a few strides. And let's take a look. Coming inside the 300 metre marker, towards the inside, Gypsy Magic, Fly Me Freeze down the middle, and Horoscope's running on. Emerald Isla looked dangerous up the outside, but coming inside the last 100 metres, Horoscope starts to drift towards the outside, but Sean Veal gets this one to take off, best of all. The third race has been run and it's gone the way of number 11, Horoscope, the ideal world filly that's trained by Yogis Govinda and was steered to victory by Sean Veal. Let's uh, talk about Daniel, who's the gentleman who's going to receive a thousand rand for his efforts. 500 rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and 500 rand on behalf of Gold Circle. 1,000 rand, enjoy your money. Congratulations, Daniel. Well done. Thank you. Much appreciated. Let's get Yogis into the winner's area. Yogis, as we complimented you in the pra parade ring preview, your horses are in a good space. You have them running well. The yard's ticking over beautifully. And I thought this horse won cosily. Well done. Uh, Warren, thank you so much for those kind words. Yeah, Warren, touch with the yard's doing well. And please, God, long may it continue. Uh, Warren, this, yeah, this filly is, uh, you know, we gave it two runs, 1,200. She improved. Um, last time, she improved nicely. And, and we, 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 we liked her today. Uh, obviously, we were a bit worried about the draw. And, and the favourite uh, had solid form, but Sean was uh, pretty uh, confident of a big run, and, and her work was good. So I'm just just glad it's come through. Uh, yeah, she's she, and I think she's going to go further. So uh, we, we're a bit uh, excited about that. Well, you took the words right out of my mouth because I was going to ask you what you thought your what you thought her ideal distance would be. And, uh, yeah, the way she won today, because, yes, a couple of the runners behind her were, were battling, but I, I, I like the way she, she, she put the race to bed is what the point I'm trying to make. Yeah, definitely. Even at work, uh, she shows that she's, I, I would think uh, uh, 18, 2,000 would probably be a, a, better, a better trip. But I'm just glad, you know, she's won the maiden in just a fourth start. So she's obviously got a, a, got a bit of ability, so we just need to nurture that now. Let's talk about Mr. Hurson and the team from Alcohol Breeders. Yeah. Say a big thank you to uh, Shabir Hussain and, and Amir al Kaab readers. This is my 10th winner for him, and thanks for the support. And you know, the, this filly was at the sale uh, at the national, and uh, Shabir asked me to look at look at her. He liked her, and I said 75,000 would be the maximum because she was quite a small filly. But he and Amir decided 100,000, and and they got it for 100,000, so got her for 100,000. So I'm just glad that 
they didn't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, well done to Shabir for finding her and, and Amir uh, for taking a, a share and uh, good luck to them. Well, well done, Yogis. Your day is over. Long may the hits continue for you. Thanks a lot. Uh, Warren, I just want to say a big thank you to Sean, my staff, and uh, a big thank you to GBETS for the support. Thank you. Spot on. Lovely. Let's talk to Sean. We'll, we'll, we'll elaborate a bit more about the owners in a moment because uh, we feel for the owners that uh, Sean can't be here, sadly, due to the uh, health and safety. But, uh, of course, we, we appreciate their contribution, but we do certainly miss them at the races. Yes, for sure, Warren. You know, a lot of owners, they're big supporters of the game, a lot of Cape Town, Joburg. But, unfortunately, the way the protocols are laid out, they're not allowed. We're just blessed to be racing, put it at that, Warren. All the trainers to provide for their families, us jockeys to provide, for the grooms to provide for their families too. So it's a good initiative that we're still racing. It's sad for the owners not to be here. But also at the same time, to watch a winner with your family at home, it makes it even more special, you know. So well done to Yogis as owners for the opportunity. To Yogis for all the support. Wherever he can use me, he uses me. And I'm glad I can produce the goods for him on this filly. Let's talk about horoscope because, yes, we don't want to get overly excited, but I was watching the race there with Yogis and some of the other trainers. I like the way she's turned it on at the end, Sean. Yes, you know, Warren, she's still learning this filly, you know. I know it wasn't a, a it wasn't a strong race, all no disrespect to any of the other horses, but this filly has been coming along the right way. I said to Yogis today, if this filly had a draw, I'd have been confident. The work's been very good, but at the same time, drawing 11 out of 12, I couldn't give confidence for anybody. Sure. But uh, I take the win, Warren. Just well done to my wife. And this one's for my two boys. And obviously, LG panel beaters for the opportunities that they've given me. Before you go, to be remiss if I didn't ask you about a horse that you're riding later on, that many racing analysts, many punters are, are looking to probably bank her in baby shoes. Have you done some work on baby shoes? What are you expecting, Sean? Warren, you know, his work at home has been very good. I've worked him twice. He, his work on... Thursday, when I worked him on Thursday, mm -hmm. was superb. So I'm expecting a massive run from him. But at the same time, the also Mr. Ambis beat me last time. Okay, we got a draw turnaround this time on him. But uh, he just beat me last time. We have the same weight. So I'm hoping today that Mr. Musket's on top of his horse. <laughs> and uh, I'm hope to talk to you again. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Warren. All the best to Sean Velia, a rider that you can never ignore. We did elaborate on baby shoes because many have banked him, well, a couple of people that I've spoken to anyway, but of course he should be competitive right throughout the afternoon. Horoscopes one, well done to Yogis and the whole Yogis Governor team and uh, Mr. Hurston and Alcohol Breeders, yeah, and to each and every owner that puts their money down, that pays their bills every month to keep this lovely game going. Well done, we miss you. That's race number three, 11, three, 12 and five. And of course, to absolutely everybody that makes this game tick, we thank you too.